It was also my obligation to write a confidential report for the Attorney General explaining completely well, my what decision. What you did write was deeply prejudicial to the interests of the President. You say it wasn't political, and yet you must have understood. You must have understood the impact of your words. You must have understood the impact of your decision to go beyond the specifics of a particular document, to go to the very general, to your own personal, prejudicial, subjective opinion of the president. That serial liar and man with a rotting pumpkin head, Adam Schiff, snapping at special counsel Robert Hur for suggesting Biden is unfit for office. Welcome to NERC News, I'm Nurkish, and once again, Adam Schiff has turned Congress into his own private community theater. Despite the fact that most of his Democrat colleagues during this hearing cited Hur's report approvingly and treated him with respect, emphasizing his decision not to prosecute Biden. But of course, Schiff wasn't satisfied with any of that. He just had to paint the walls with his performative BS. I want to refer back to your opening statement in which you said that you did not disparage the president, your report. But of course, you did disparage the president. Uh, you disparaged him in terms you had to know would have a maximal political impact. But you decided to go further and make a generalized statement about his memory, didn't you? Congressman, I, I could have written my report, theoretically, in a way that omitted references to the president's memory, but that would have been an incomplete and improper report in that, that it did not my reflect question, my analysis you could have the written, explanation of my decision. You could have written your general. report with his with comments about his specific recollection as to documents or a set of documents, but you chose a general pejorative reference to the president. You understood when you made that decision, didn't you, Mr. Hur, that you would ignite a political firestorm with that language, didn't you? Yeah, Hur, stop acknowledging the truth. Don't you know it can create a political firestorm? I mean, seriously, this is just another battle on the left's war on reality. What doesn't create a political firestorm with people like Adam Schiff? Is her supposed to admit anything that might make the president look remotely bad or be used by opposition? I mean, you understood how they would be manipulated by, by my colleagues here on the GOP side of the aisle and by President Trump. You understood that, did you not? Congressman, what I underststood is the regulations that govern my conduct as special counsel. And, and those regulations, regulations those regulations me to write a confidential report for the attorney general, which you knew would not be confidential. My decision, and that is what knew, I did, Congressman. Mr. I followed Hur, you, the rules. You knew it would not be confidential. And I them. You must have understood the impact of your decision to go beyond the specifics of a particular document to go to the very general, to your own personal, prejudicial, subjective opinion of the president, one you knew would be amplified by his political opponent when you knew that would influence a political campaign. You had to understand that. And you did it anyway. And you did it anyway. This guy is such a spineless sissy. You know, it's rich that he's accusing her of making a political choice by releasing a report he deemed overly prejudiced towards Biden when he was the one censured by his colleagues for misleading the entire country about Trump and Russia. He has absolutely no evidence that her had any political motives, which is why he kept trying to end his turn without allowing her a proper chance to respond to his criticisms. Thankfully, her took some initiative and defended himself against Schiff's grandstanding. I need to address something that you said in your prior question. What you are suggesting is that I needed to provide a different version of my report that would be fit for public release. That is nowhere in the rules. I was to prepare a confidential report that was comprehensive and thorough of an What is in the rules, the Mr. Hur, what is in the rules is you don't gratuitously do things to prejudice the subject of an investigation when you're declining to prosecute. You made a choice that was a political choice. It was the wrong choice. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Gentleman yields back. The gentleman from Arizona, did, did, did uh, special counsel wish to respond to that final question? Yes, Congressman. What you are suggesting is that I shape, sanitize, um, omit portions of my reasoning and explanation to the Attorney General for political reasons. No, I suggest and, that you and, and not shape your report did, for political reasons, which is, is what you did. That did not happen, Congressman. That did not happen. So to summarize, Schiff was mad that Hur told the truth in his report. Shocker. You know, watching this clip reminds me a lot of those memes going around from The Good Doctor where the wimpy kid with the big head is crying and getting all emotional because the stoic and professional Asian doctor said something he didn't like. With any luck, this hack will lose his Senate race and we won't have to deal with him there. That is, of course, whenever they're done counting votes in California. But let me know what you think. Was Robert Hur's report politically motivated? Was Adam Schiff correct in throwing a little pity party during the hearing? Let me know what you think in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nurk News. Thanks for watching. Bye!